The title of this online training session is Understanding of APEC. The contents include APEC overview, APEC member economies, its structure, characteristic including its general information of APEC Human Resources Development Working Group. APEC represents Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation. It is the premier forum for facilitating economic growth, cooperation, trade and investment in Asia-Pacific region. In Canberra in Australia in 1989, it launched the ministerial meeting of 12 member economies, the United States, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Singapore, the Philippines, the Brunei Darussalam, including Republic of Korea. At the early stage of APEC establishment, Republic of Korea contributed to regularizing ministerial meeting by hosting the third ministerial meeting in Seoul in 1991. And in 1993, former United States President Mr. Bill Clinton established the practice of the annual APEC Economy Leaders Meeting. The ultimate goals of APEC are liberalization and facilitation of trade and investment, and the establishment of Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation through APEC Economies Cooperation. APEC has 21 members, 13 economies in Asia, which are Brunei Darussalam, People's Republic of China, Hong Kong, China, Indonesia, Japan, Republic of Korea, Malaysia, the Philippines, Russia, Singapore, Chinese Taipei, Thailand, and Vietnam. Five economies in America include Canada, Chile, Mexico, Peru, and the United States. Three economies in Oceania are Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea. And the word economy is used to call the member of APEC instead of country because the APEC cooperative process is predominantly concerned with trade and economic issues, with members engaging with one another as economic entities. APEC is the only intergovernmental grouping in the world, operating on basis of non-binding commitments, open dialogue, and equal respect for the view of all participants. Also, APEC is an informal forum that promotes economic growth, and trade expansion among its 21 member economies. Please see the detailed structure of APEC on the slide. APEC was established in 1989 to further enhance economic growth and prosperity for the region and to strengthen the Asia-Pacific community by bridging the gap among its economies. Since its inception, APEC has worked to reduce tariff and other trade barriers across the Asia-Pacific region, creating efficient domestic economies and dramatically increasing export. Key to achieving APEC's vision are what are referred to as the bubble walls of free and open trade and investment in the Asia-Pacific by 2010 for industrialized economies and 2020 for developing economies. These goals were adopted by leaders at their 1994 meeting in Bogo, Indonesia. According to Bogo goals, in the 1994 leaders' declaration, free and open trade for investment helps economies to grow, create jobs and provides greater opportunity for international trade and investment. APEC members are drawn from leading economies in the region. APEC has 21 members, referred to as member economies, which account for approximately 42% of the world population, approximately 62% of world GDP, and about 47% of world trade. APEC has no treaty obligation required of its participants. Consultative decisions within APEC are reached by consensus and commitments undertaken on a voluntary basis with the consideration of diversity and equality. APEC Business Advisory Committee, ABAC, is established in 1995 in order to enhance the role of private sector of APEC. 
through greater input into Apex Working Group and the establishment of new public-private policy partnerships. Additionally, the use of display of national flag, symbols, or anthems is prohibited, and only a simple nameplate of member economies is displayed at the APEC functions. The APEC hosts the economy chairs its annual APEC Economic Leaders Meeting. The first leaders meeting launched in the United States in 1993. Leaders meeting discusses APEC vision and economic issues, and both ministers meeting and senior officials meeting discuss on the plan required actions to resolve the issues. Secretary level of meeting is held four times a year. APEC Business Advisory Committee ABAC established in 1996 in order to reflect the views of private sectors. And ABEC appoints three prominent business persons per each member economy, including one entrepreneur from small or medium-sized business. There are currently 14 working groups in ABEC, as you can see in the list. Among this group, Human Resources Development Working Group will be studied on the following slides. This page will help you to understand better on HLD Working Group. As you can see, goal of HLD Working Group is promoting the well-being of all people and achieving sustainable and inclusive economic growth in the region. Also, the mission is sharing the knowledge, experience, and skills to strengthen human resources development and promote sustainable economic growth. Human resources development is one of the priorities of economic and technical cooperation program and the HLD working group has a special role in furthering the issues. HLD working group has performed various tasks on human resources development since it's established in 1990. Implementing project through the close cooperation of three separate networks, which are Capacity Building Network, CBN, Education Network, ADNET, Labor and Social Protection Network, LSPN. As you can see, there are three subgroups in the Human Resources Development Working Group. First of all, Capacity Building Network. CBN promotes human capacity building and the strengthening of market through improved productive processes, enterprise productivity and adaptability, management and technical skill development, and corporate governance in the public private and voluntary sectors of APEC members' economy. There are Labor and Social Protection Network. LSPM mandate is to develop useful labor market information and policies. This improves workplace condition and practices and strong social safety nets. The objective of LSPN is to promote human capacity building, social integration, and strong, flexible labor market. It was adopted by the Human Resources Development Working Group of APEC in May 2000. Lastly, Education Network. ADNET strengthens the role of education and develops education system for APEC members socio-economic, and sustainable development. APEC Education Forum was reorganized as an adnet through Human Resources Working Group in January 2000. The role of adnet is implementing projects in accordance with main topics of Ad APEC Education Ministerial Meeting. The objective of ADNET is to develop strong and dynamic ed education system across APEC economies. ADNET promotes education for people and strengthens the role of education for development of economy, individuals, and society. 
It was established as APEC Education Forum in August 1992 under the、um, Human Resource Development Working Group. In 2000, HLD Working Group revised the action plan of the APEC Education Forum and established EdNet. In 2012, in May, the fifth APEC Education Ministerial Meeting. Was held in Gyeongju. Education ministers from 21 APEC economies gathered together to garner wisdom in nurturing creative talent while discussing cooperative measures. Specific and systematic education cooperation with APEC economies enabled the region to achieve regional economic integration and green growth. And regulatory convergence and cooperation, which ultimately brought the shared prosperity to the APEC members. The fifth APEC Education Ministerial Meeting's main topic is about globalization, innovation, and cooperation of education, such as mathematics, science, language, and culture education. Technical and vocational education and training and higher education. The topic stresses the importance of teachers' in innovative teaching skill and also the need of educational policy reform, and the members' collaboration for implementation of AEMM's agendas. This is the end of、uh, presentation about. Understanding of APEC. Thank you.